Did you know that choosing the wrong torrent client can not only slow your device, but expose your data and invite cyber risks? Today, we're breaking down the best torrenting clients you can use safely in plus key tips to protect your privacy and device. Whether you're downloading open source software, sharing research data, or just exploring how P2P networks work, understanding which client to use and how to stay secure is absolutely essential. Stick around till the end. One mistake could cost you much more than time. Let's dive in. Before you buy a VPN, make sure you pick the right one. There are tons of VPNs out there that overcharge, slow your internet down, and worst of all, aren't even secure. That's why I recommend vpndiscount.org. They've reviewed the top VPNs and show you the best options. Fast, secure, and reliable. I personally use their site to grab NordVPN and save 75%. That's a huge discount. They also feature other top VPNs like ExpressVPN, so you have options. Using the site is super simple. Just click, buy, and install on your PC, laptop, Mac, or mobile device. That's it. You're instantly protected. Don't wait. Head to vpndiscount.org now and get one of the best VPNs in the world for super cheap. Stay safe online. Let's start with what many in the community call the go-to client, QBitTorrent. Why it stands out, it's open source, ad-free, lightweight, and frequently cited for reliability. For example, QBitTorrent is okay. What you download while using it can be questionable. Actually, it's one of the most feature-rich torrent clients here. Categories, automatic management, no ads, no bloatware. Built-in C++ using the libtorrent library often performs better than Python-based clients in terms of resource usage, supports things like search plugins, RSS feeds, advanced settings like interface binding for VPNs. Users emphasize its VPN interface binding feature meaning you can force the client to only use the VPN network interface so if the VPN drops, you stop torrenting rather than leak your real IP. To be 100% safe, you just need to be sure that your real IP will never appear in Qbitterrent. To do that, you just need to bind your VPN with Qbitterrent. Even an excellent client like Qbitterrent isn't magic. One user wrote, greater than, there have been serious security vulnerabilities found in Qbitterrent referring to vulnerabilities in web UI versions. Must download from the official source to avoid tampered installers. Greater than QBitterin is 100% safe as long as you use the correct site, Reddit. For extremely large numbers of torrents, thousands, some users in Seedbox setups prefer other tools. But for typical desktop use, it's very solid. So if you're looking for a client that gives you solid performance, stability, and plenty of control without the hidden baggage. Qbitterin is a standout. Next up, Deluge, a flexible option especially appealing for advanced users, NAS setups, or those who love customization. What Reddit users say, Deluge would occasionally crash or just become a major memory hog, whereas Qbit has been crazy stable. In older versions, from my experience, Deluge is good if you want to race, but it cannot handle too many torrents. On usage, I like the ability to use Deluge as a thin client on my systems. That way I can centralize my torrents on my NAS. You can run a daemon slash server mode, Deluged, with a thin GUI client, helpful for separating UI from seating service. Plugins galore, good for custom or automated workflows, e.g. for seed boxes, remote devices, scripted batch tasks. Still open source and widely trusted. Some users report stability or performance issues when handling extremely large loads or older builds. Many complain that web UI gets slow with hundreds of torrents. For basic, I just want to download a few torrents easily, use case, might be more setup than needed. If you're someone who wants automated workflows, remote access, or like tweaking your setup under the hood, Deluge gives you that. Just check how many active torrents you expect, because if you push it far, it may require more system resources or tuning. Now let's talk about one of the most famous names in torrent clients, uTorrent. The free version has ads. They shipped a cryptocurrency miner with the installer once. I scanned the XE, 
According to VirusTotal, it has 22 viruses. Very widely installed, supports bulk and sequential downloads, e.g., you can start watching media while it's still downloading. Familiar UI for many users who started torrenting years ago. Not open source. Free version includes ads and previously bundled controversial extras, e.g., mining software slash epic scale, type PUPS. Community mostly recommends skipping it in favor of newer, more transparent options. uTorrent remains a popular pick because it's easy and many users know it already. But users caution, the free version comes with ads, past versions, bundled extra minor software, and the open source competition offers more transparency. If you're comfortable with those trade-offs, it's fine, but you might do better with something cleaner. Next, BitTorrent. What's good? Straightforward design, drag and drop downloads, regular updates, community viewpoint. On comparison, go with Qubit Torrent. It's the community's favorite. Both do the same thing, but Qubit is open source and doesn't have any ads on it. Free version of BitTorrent includes ads, typical for clients tied to commercial interests. BitTorrent is simple and reliable, especially if you want a classic experience. But keep in mind, You'll get ads and it lacks the customization and transparency of something like QBitTorrent. Lastly, Vuz, a feature-rich client that aims at power users, but with some caveats. Highlights users mention, as far as I know, Vuz is the only torrent client that allows strict enforcement of IP slash network interface bindings. But Views hasn't been updated in years. Users suggest instead something like Bigly BT. Others, Views is particularly heavy, uses a lot of resources. I like QBetterN. It's really light, very powerful, packed with extra features, built-in media player, magnet support, plugins. Strong for power workflows if you don't mind setup and resource usage. Some reports the project is no longer actively maintained. In certain threads, users recommend moving to BiglyBT instead. Heavy on system resources. Free version includes ads and sometimes bundled extra software. If you want every single feature, binding enforcement, plugins, embedded media playback, views might appeal. But many users warn, it's heavy, can feel outdated, and doesn't have the transparency or lean performance of the lighter clients. So only go this route if you'll actually use those advanced features. Even the best torrent client won't protect you if you ignore safety. Let's summarize some key tips. Many pulled from community advice. Use antivirus software. One bad torrent can infect your system. Bind your torrent client to your VPN's network interface. So if the VPN drops, your client can't continue on your normal internet connection. Example. Greater than, maybe try binding your VPN to your Qubiturant client. It makes sure that all of Qubiturant's network activity goes through your VPN and prevents IP leaks. Avoid grabbing torrents from shady sources. The client may be fine, but the content might carry malware or violate laws. Keep your client updated. For example, Qubit Torrent had a patched vulnerability in 2023-2024. Be aware of your volume and usage. More torrents equals more peers equals more risk if you aren't cautious, especially with public trackers. Understand the legality. Torrenting isn't inherently illegal. But if you download or share copyrighted content, you may face consequences. Use encryption where available and disable features you don't need. For example, DHT, peer exchange, if you want more caution. Bottom line, having a good client is only half the battle. You also need good habits. Use antivirus, keep software updated, bind the client to your VPN so nothing leaks, and be very selective about what you download. This separates the savvy users from the ones who end up with a mess. Want to stay safe online? Head over to vpndiscount.org. They've reviewed the top VPNs and offer the best discounts. I save 75% on NordVPN. Quick, easy, and works on any device. Don't wait. Secure your VPN now. So that's your full educational guide to the best torrenting clients of 2024, enriched with community feedback and how to stay safe while using them. If this helped you understand the landscape better, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. Which client are you using 
and what feature matter most to you. Stay smart, stay secure, and I'll see you in the next one.